Boy, are you talking all that slick mess? You ain't the prize, bruh. Fury the prize. Joshua is the prize. You gonna come over here all the way over to America to fight a bum and not me? Why don't you let me welcome you here by knocking you the f out? You know what I'm saying? I'm rated all across the board, brother. So who else you gonna fight? You know what I'm saying? Who else you gonna fight, man? If you really wanna convince the people that I'm easy, then why don't you come over here and take this easy money from me then? Huh? Cause you know you can't do that. Stop hiding behind Eddie Hearn, man. Hey, it's the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, Boxing for Boxing. Nah, man, you guys seen the video, man. You guys seen Charles Martin go off my boy Dillian White. And, man, you know, this is all in retaliation for Charles Martin because Dillian White called him a useless bump. And I understand this. Dillian White is rumored to come to America, if you guys heard in the video. And he's going to be fighting in America. And Charles Martin's like, if you're going to talk big trash before you come to America, you might as well fight me. And you know, he was saying that, Anthony Joshua is the prize. Tyson Fury is the prize. You know, I get things by be beating those guys. But fighting you, it's not a prize, man. And you know what? Charles Martin, he could be onto something. Now, Dillian White would be a good win for Charles Martin if he can possibly beat him. But I understand this. You know, Dillian White got stopped by Alexander Povetkin. And Povetkin's not exactly pit on the pedestal because of it. He didn't get the Andy Reese treatment when he, you know, Andy Reese beat anthony joshua and till this day andy reese is still a big star because of the fight with uh anthony joshua right anthony reese just fought on pay-per-view against uh, uh and chris ayola right so that being said man you know those are the biggest wins that will catapult charles martin's career to another level because charles martin used to be the ibf champion of the world and dealing white has yet to even fight for a world title now, I do think that uh, Dillian White has one of the better resumes in, in uh, heavyweight division, bar none. It's not even close. You know, he's beat, he's knocked out Lucas Brown, former WBA regular champion, right? Beat Joseph Parker, right? former WBO champion. And I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, he beat Alexander Pivekin by stoppage the second time around, right? I mean, I can go down, you know, Dillian White's whole resume, but I'll be here till three in the morning, right? He knocked out Jazura. You know, I can keep going on and on. But all that being said, um, I understand this. Uh, you know, the thing is, Charles Martin, he's a, a great fighter. He only has uh, one loss outside of Anthony Joshua, and that's to Adam Kanaki, and that was a competitive fight. Now, that being said, man, you know, outside of those two losses, you know, Charles Martin's been on the run, and people haven't really been talking about the guy, but he's been stopping guys by a spectacular fashion uh on the wins he's been uh winning you know the guy has extremely high knockout ratio people don't understand but charles martin you know he's a, a knockout artist the guy has an extremely high knockout ratio right so that being said you know charles martin definitely when he's talking trash like that he really means it you know charles martin understand he has 28 wins and 25 knockouts that's an extremely high knockout ratio so you know i'll be really excited to see a fight with um Charles Martin and Dillian White because Dillian White for the most part is pretty how do you say uh he's pretty you know what you're gonna get when you fight Dillian, when you fight Dillian White for the most part he shows up most most fights but there's some fights where he doesn't show up the Oscar Uves fight was a scare when he almost when he got dropped right the Bevekin fight he got stopped um there's this fight where he didn't look as great as he could have right the Derek Chisora the first fight and Charles Martin he's pretty consistent uh, throughout his whole career he doesn't have fights where there's scares there's never a, there's never a controversial win with charles martin so that being said man charles martin he's a phenomenal fighter and one of his marquee wins um uh, that's i'm still high on is the Jared washington fight you know Jared washington was just, he just felt the power of uh, charles martin early and he really basically laid down for the guy laid down and bowed to Ch prince charles martin you know they call him the prince, man. You know, this guy, you know, you, you know what he says, man. The famous line, I walk this earth like a god. My boy Charles Martin. You know, so I, I really would like to see the fight, man. I think it's an exciting fight for both these fighters. Um, Dillian White, he fought some 
some nobody when he first came to America. There's no reasons to keep coming to America fighting uh, journeyman. You know, um, I think Dillian White got his feet wet enough in the UK. There's not really much to conquer left in the UK. Now he needs to get his feet wet over here in America. And what better fighter than than Charles Martin, right? Understand, like I said earlier, Dillian White called him out first by calling him a bum. You know, a useless bum. So we want to see this fight, man. I think it's a big, good fight um, for sure. Uh, Charles Martin would be one of the better fights fighters in his resume because he's on a three-fight win streak uh, ever since the Adam Kanalki loss, right? And before that loss, I mean, he was winning five fight, uh, you know, two, three fights straight, two fights straight before the Adam Kanalki loss, and that was a competitive fight. Um, the only problem with Charles Martin I see is the guy's. Uh, his athleticism isn't what it used to be pre undefeated you know anthony joshua he's definitely better than he used to be but he's a hard hitter he's a power puncher there's never been his game to bounce around the ring and, and to look like ali he's always sitting on his punch he's always knocking guys out so that being said man we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out with charles martin man i think this is gonna be a good fight between him and Dillian white and i like the trash talk back and forth so let me know you guys feel about it though do you guys want to see his fight with charles martin or do you guys think he can fight someone better in america do you guys want to see see Dillian White fight Luis Ortiz? Yeah, maybe, maybe even uh, Andy Ruiz. I think uh, if you really think, uh, if you don't think too much of Charles Martin, maybe those step ups are too big for uh, for uh, Dillian White right away in America. Maybe we need a, a, a softer fight because Charles Martin, I'm high on Charles Martin, but one can make an argument easily that uh, Luis Ortiz or, or Andy Ruiz is a higher uh, caliber of fire than Charles Martin. But in my opinion, you know, it's 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 debatable for sure. Uh, Andy Ruiz did not look good his last fight, and a or Luis Ortiz, you know, the guy's pretty inactive. Let's just be honest. Um, I mean, he's fought some no names, but Luis Ortiz fights every now and then. And I, I think Charles Martin, the fact that Dylan White called him out, you know, it makes sense, right? Make it make sense. You know, a, a nobody coming out of nowhere would be sort of a random fight for Dillian White. If Dillian White is calling out Charles Martin and it's for a reason, he's obviously eyeing the guy. Maybe he sees something I don't see. Maybe Dillian White sees something. Anyway, let me know you guys feel about it though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasket Empire. Peace.